Okay, so, wow, your face looked really interesting there for a second. Um, okay. All right, you're Morris, but who told you to report to Kai's Casadas? Are you ready to give me the package now? No, no! Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm very interesting. So, it says here that the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the Blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Morris? Um, well, if I say no, you'll probably punch me, so I'll just say yes. Good. Welcome to the surface. Novice, Morris. Novice? I am a master. Come on. Don't be such a dickhead. Now, you belong to the Blades. We are the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your mother's skills with our Blades trainers now. If you are in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Just give me my orders. Jesus, my throat is fucking killing me. I need a drink. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drinks. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with Fighters Guild, or Mages Guild, or Imperial Cult, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own. Look for freelance work or trouble. And then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Fuck that, I want orders now. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasford and Tobolus. Jesus, the names they come up with. At the Balmora Fighter Skills. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine Secret Cult and the Six House Secret Cult. You have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antibolis and report back to me. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you are too ignorant to understand it. Part of history? That seems a bit more than I bargained for. Um, what? What's Nerevarine? Some Dunmer believed an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents. That sounds like me! We'll one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. They call this orphan and outcaster Nerevarine, and say the Nerevarine will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer general and first counsellor, Lord Inderil Nerevar. Okay, and what's the sixth house then? A trusted informant says there's a cult, a secret cult, associated with some strange events recently. And more importantly, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some way to the Nereverine prophecies. There's prophecies about Nereverine? The illiterate Ashlanders pass down their customs and history in the form of poetic verses. Among the things they preserve in verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women. Wise women? In particular, the verses that foretell the coming of Nerevarine. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm sending you to find out. Yeah, that makes sense. You might have noticed that I was just about to make a snarky comment about um, wise women. Um, I decided not to because I do realize that there may be a portion of viewers that is actually female and I don't want to piss off um, you know um, a potential viewer base so just pretend I was not about to make a snarky comment about that just you know just just think I was going to um, just going to keep my mouth shut which I did so there's really nothing to talk about is there what I'm now doing, because you're probably thinking, where the fuck is that guy going? He's supposed to be talking to Asfad Antibol Hasf Antibolus, um, who is at the fighter skills, and you look like, these don't look like fighters. Well, no, these look like mages. And mages, um, or at least a, uh, a certain mage, does not really care much about questions? the law, considering Moonsugar and Skuma. 
Hello. What brings you to our zero shop? Do you want to try the local brews? Need something to help in the fight? Some tough funny bug must bring you mates? Or a way to get to those high places when your hands cannot reach? No, I was actually wanting to, you know, sell some drugs. Oh, that sounds good too. Um, I'm just going to get rid of these, which is really quite a lot of money at one in one go. And I'll just get rid of these as well, because you know what? Um, and this one, and then I'm just going to max sell because I think, I think she'll she'll go for it. Not at once, but she'll go for it. She she'd better fucking go for it. Okay, I guess she doesn't go for it. She went for it! Yes! I am now richer. I now have 1300 and something, 74 gold. So what do you want? And do you? No, she does not. I need another barter because I want to sell that last potion. And do you buy these? No, of course she doesn't. Because, you know, that would be too handy and we don't want handy that's quality restore health now this is not throwing my money away I totally need this I definitely need that um, I think I need is there some standard restore health potion I'm just going to go all eyes on those as well um, is there some cure disease because those are really really handy at the start of the game because some beasts you um, encounter will be diseased. Should we restore health? No. Cure polite disease. Common disease. Those, I'll just take five of those. Um, and blight, I'll take two. I, I don't think I'll be getting much blight disease, but hey, it never, it never, it always pays off to be a bit careful. So I'll just. Bump it down to 400, see if she goes for that, or he is the she or he. I don't really care. The old. Oh, fuck, that was a really bad. I, I should have done. You know, gone for less. That was a really bad deal, otherwise, she wouldn't have taken it that quickly. Hello. Uh, I heard that you take this up the bum. Um. Come on. It's only two gold more, you can take it doesn't. What a bitch. But then she's a wood elf, so I didn't really expect anything less. Uh, now I'm going to the fight skill. I'm going to talk to this Hasfat Antibolis guy. And he will give me my first proper quest. And Somebody before... No, nothing. I'm not going to finish the sentence because, you know, I'm just not. Yes, let's hear. This is Hasfat Antibolis. He looks really common for such a complex name. And I don't know what's wrong with your legs, mate, but you're... It just doesn't seem healthy. Have you been eating well? Good day, Morris! Uh, <laughs> I don't know why he has this voice, but I can't stop now. I really can't. So with, you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information? Of course, there is a dis for that involved. I require a favor first. And then I'll tell you what you want to know. What's that favor, then? There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkentand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called the Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box and I'll tell you what you want to know. I don't know where that voice came from. It just materialized like right in front of my mouth and I couldn't stop it. It's like it had a soul of its own. Tell me about Arkentand. Why is it so unpronounceable? The old Dremor ruins at Argentant are ex extensive on the surface and on the ground. Head south out of town, past the Siltstrider port, then cross bridges east over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molagmar. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Dremor bridge over Foyada Mamea. Then enter the entrance to Arkentant is on the east side of the Foyada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank in the pipe nearby to open the doors. Now what's this dwarf puzzle box I'm looking for? 
the little cube I'm looking for is about half the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. It will be made of a coppery metal, with a circular design and symbols on one side and some line marks on the other sides. That's all I want, that little cube. Well, if there's one thing that can be said about Hasford Antibolus is that he has the most inconsistent accent ever. Okay, before I head out though, because you know, I, I, I am going to head out pretty soon, I'm going to have to get myself some vaguely good armor, or at least something that doesn't suck quite as bad as what I'm wearing now, which is really terribly bad. I'm just going to, um, to buy myself bone mold, which is good, because it's just good. Just trust me on that, it's good. Um, or at least it's good for now. Um, some bone mold, greaves, I guess. Uh, and you can really, you can really, um, play around with stuff. Um, I'm going to sell, does he take this? No, of course he doesn't. You can really play around with your, um, appearance here, because uh, your pauldrons and your braces, um, it's not a set. You buy a left one, and then you just have the left one. You also need to buy a right one. Um, so you can really combine like different stuff to look more awesome. Um, which is cool. That's I like that. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I just like everything in this game. Just um, don't be surprised. I, I just do. Can I still pay for this? It's going to be it's going to be tricky, but I'm just going to have to um nine three eight three. Okay, and oh, come on, I just want to pinpoint the exact yes, okay. Oh fuck, I could have done better. Okay, um I'm just going to put this on. So now I look a bit more badass than I did before, don't I? I just need the braces and I can get those by selling off my um some other stuff at the trader here. Because remember I had those throwing stars? I'm never going to use those because it's marksman and marksman sucks here. Because even if you hit something it still does a dice roll whether you hit it or not. And that, you know, it can go really wrong. So I'm just going to sell that and sell that. And I'm not going to sell anything else because... Wood scroll... I don't need this. I can get rid of this. That's, that's one hell of an epiphany. I'm going to try 300, see if that um, that works, if he goes for that. I'm going to sell this one as well. Oh fuck, I have to go all the way back to 300. What are you doing to me, game? 312 now, just because you're a bitch. Come on. Yes! And now I'm going to see if I can buy those braces as well. I'm not going to bother with the helmet, because hey, it's a helmet. I don't want to, um, you know, have a helmet. It's not good. And at least now with the helmet and stuff, I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't need a helmet to complete the set. Okay, come on. Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now I am fully equipped with a good, um, or, oh, might I buy a shield? I mean... Set me back a bit, but you know, I, I can, I can use. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing anything with that arm. So, yeah. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. Now I, l I look the part. Now I look fucking badass. And now I'm going to go to Arkantant. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! We can see already see Arkantant. And just just imagine not knowing where it is with those um, like with those shifty those dodgy um, uh, directions he gave us, um, we really wouldn't be much the wiser because he said like go to this signpost, go to that signpost, go to this signpost, go to that signpost, and now we just see it so we know what direction to go. And of course I've played this game like three million times, so I know at least this part I know like the back of my hand. But then, how often do you look at the back of your hand when you think about it? Just push for thought. Think about it. Um, and when we get there, like when we get to um, to Arkansas, 
we will be faced with one of the most annoying enemies um, in this game because it tends to be quite hard at this stage of the game. Um, usually. But now that I'm really equipped well, because I, I was just lucky at finding lots of money and valuable shit, um, I might be able to take him out pretty, pretty dandily. So, um, who knows? We might just strike lucky once again and have an awesome time. But look, this guy doesn't look like a bit of a, uh, that much of a problem, does he? He's just some guy. Well, the guy does something really annoying, which is that. And that... Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, oh. Shit. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. So maybe... Maybe... Um... I, I was like uh, a bit too... Um... How do you say that? How, how do I put it gently? A bit too... Um... Optimistic about my chances here. Um... I'm going to try one more time, but no, in fact, I don't think I should. Okay, guys, um, you know what? I'm just going to end it here for tonight. I have to go, um, so, you know, it's it's not entirely, like, out of a perspective of uh, a mighty cliffhanger, but you can so consider it as such. Um, in the meantime, though, just, you know, just, you know, that we quit with this extremely annoying guy at the, end, at the other end of the bridge with Arkantand right there behind the guy I'm just uh, standing here and next time I'm probably just going to turn the fuck around and level up a bit before I actually attempt to do this because you know I wanted to do this quickly but turns out <laughs> that just doesn't really work that way so um, I'm going to let's see ah yeah well, doesn't he look gorgeous? Anyway, um, this has been Vaughn, and this has been my first um, session of uh, The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I will see you next time. Cheerio!